Now, foul food on the high street. A high-profile court case last year saw five men jailed for selling meat unfit for human consumption. The Food Standards Agency said it was probably a one-off, but Watchdog has discovered that environmental health officers are aware of several other suspected criminal operations where unfit poultry is ending up on our plates. Here's Adrian. Chicken steak sold at Tesco and Budgeons. Chicken spread sold at Sainsbury's and Waitrose. Chicken korma sold at Summerfield. And chicken casserole sold at Quicksave. All pulled off the shelves last April. Just a few of the 28 product lines recalled from stores nationwide due to concerns they contain diseased or damaged chicken unfit for human consumption. It was feared that without the store's knowledge, meat which should have been destroyed or turned into pet food was ending up on dinner plates. The investigation which led to the recall was initiated by Amber Valley Council. Officials raided a pet food processor across Britain. This wasn't a one-off incident. In December, five men were jailed for a total of 26 years for passing off unfit meat as human food. It was at a factory here in Nottinghamshire that Wells Byproducts, a pet food processor, took diseased and contaminated meat and sold it on for human consumption. Over three years, 1,500 tonnes of it was produced, which ended up in restaurants, butcher shops and supermarkets across the country. The factory has now been taken over by Wells' parent company, Prosper de Mulder. The investigation into the case was led by Lewis Coates, an environmental health officer from Rotherham Council. It's the easiest thing to do to get this diseased and pet food material out into the human food chain. All it needs is some criminal element to take the meat away from a slaughterhouse or an animal byproducts plant, wash it in salt with a touch of bleach, freeze it and then send it out through butcher shops, through retailers, out through brokers and it can end up anywhere in the country. There are untold hundreds, thousands of tonnes of material getting back into the food chain because we cannot track it. That's the problem. It is unquantifiable. The law divides poultry into three categories. Meat, fit for human consumption, low risk, which in the UK can only be used for pet food, and high risk, which is diseased and should be destroyed. But unscrupulous traders are making a mockery of these rules. Rotherham and Amber Valley are not isolated cases. I am aware of other criminal operations carrying on throughout the country. Operations where criminals are getting unfit meat out onto everybody's dinner plates. The Food Standards Agency is now proposing that high-risk poultry should be stained with a dye, marking it out as dangerous. Poultry meant for pet food will remain exempt, but environmental health officers want that stain too. The FSA say that's not necessary, since if a human ate it, it wouldn't do them any harm. Well, now I've tried it. Let's see what the rest of you think. So we took a homemade pet food pie to Nottingham to see if anyone fancied a piece. Lewis, present the pie. Oh, oh that looks very nice. That does look nice. Chicken pie, fancy some? Well, why not? Well, yeah, it looks tempting, I must admit. The only catch is the chicken in that pie. Yes. It's from pet food. Oh, oh dear. God. Oh, no. Oh. We currently don't know how much of the food that's been designated as pet food then subsequently gets back into the food chain. And we don't know where it's been, we don't know how it's handled, we don't know if it's been next to contaminated food. Well, let me show you something. People say that if you dyed pet food, it would make sure that pet food didn't get into the human food chain. That'd be a good idea. Well, it would, yeah. because then you'd know what you were eating, wouldn't it? Sounds like a good idea to me. Mm. I reckon. Mm. Where it is not uh, allowed for human consumption, it's not going for human consumption, then let's stain it, let's be clear, let the consumer be clear, let the industry be clear, uh, let the regulators be clear. Oh, I like dog food. 
<laughs> Not the nicest food I've ever tasted, Nicky. No, and you're a, you're a veggie, aren't you? I'm a veggie, but I tell you what, I can't walk past the lamppost now without stopping. Yeah, I did notice. Uh, <laughs> what do the Food Standards Agency have to say? Well, tonight the FSA say they have a wide-ranging action plan to tackle poultry scams, but they insist low-risk meat poses no risk to human health, and so staining would be a disproportionate action.